Andy a pair of fives here. He could now win the pot of a five or a three comes up. And he's first to act again. Oh, Vance. When he got called on the flop here, caution lights in my mind should be going on for this kid. Be careful, you're not playing against Helmuth, who you can torture. <laughs> <laughs> well, he fires again, this time 210,000. Well, let's see what McLean's gonna do. He's gonna call him again. Yeah, just an okie dokie call. Well, he's afraid the guy might have Ace King or Ace Jack here. Maybe flop the set of Jacks, taking the cautious route. The board pairs sevens now. So McLean out in front with aces up. Action back on Andy. Well, he's finally going to check it. Will McLean put in a value bet here? Try to take some more off the chip leader? No. He's going to check, too. He yeah. got it. I don't have anything. Andy says he has nothing. Now, in fact, he's got two pair. Well, I mean, his opponent had a flush draw or a straight draw. Two fives would be the best hand, yet he's mucking this hand without oh, even seeing what McLean has. You can, you can ask to see it. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't matter. McLean mucking his hand right behind him now. They want to see the winning hand. I am shocked that Andy would muck that hand when, in fact, he could have had the best hand. Well, the young and the brass finally taking a hit there. Stay with us. Six players remain at the Bay 101. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. The Bay 101 continues. Six players remain. And there you see 23-year-old Andy Seth, poker pro, still our chip leader. Second place, McLean Carr. Phil Helma spiraling downward, now in fourth place. And action no, goes to Phil Helmuth, who has yeah, an ace exactly. nine in first position. Raise it up a little bit. Let's go 44. And he's going to raise it to 44,000 to go. Well, Andy finally going out. Matt Kekawan, hometown favorite. 42 years old, also folds. Over McLean Carr. He's going out as well. And now Dan O'Brien. Oh, Dan has an ace jack. Has Phil dominated here. I'm just staring down straight at the table, hoping everybody goes away. Got about the same amount of chips, but look at this. Surprisingly, Dan folding his hand. Unlike Andy Seth, he gives Helmuth respect. He lays it down. And now Phil has to beat Hassan, and he's going to do it. You were thinking about popping me. Thought about it. Wow. I might lay it down. I mean, I have the jack five. I believe you. Well, I believe Helmuth would have laid it down if he got re-raised. And right now, the Andes are going up to 3,000. Blinds now 10 and 20,000. Action's going to the chip leader, the 23-year-old Andy Seth. And he's going to peek down at a King Deuce off suit. And he's going to take a breather. He folds a hand. Matt Kekoan, this time with an ace six of diamonds. Matt, a local pro. Seemingly, we have a local pro every year at the final table of the Bay 101 tournament. Matt said he was here on day one when they opened the Bay 101. Here he's going to open the pot for 44,000. Yep, very tight player. And McLean is going out. Dan O'Brien also folds. Well, Hassan out as well. So a round to the big blind, which is Phil Helmuth. He has an ace four. And he's going to look him up, as we say. He makes the call. So we have ace six to the local. Phil Helmuth with ace four. Here's the flop. Flop comes king, king, queen. No help to either player. Helmuth checks. Matt checks right behind him. Now a five comes off on the turn. Well, how much going to lead out and take a stab at this pot here, it looks like. 48,000 into the very, very tight Matt, who has nothing here. Now look at this, Vince. He calls here because I believe he thinks the ace high might be the best hand. He might put Helmuth on something like 10-9 or Jack-9 or Jack-10. Well, the four clubs comes off on the river. Phil Helmuth now has the best hand with kings and fours and checks. But Matt is reaching for chips here, Vince. And I think most players would be happy to check it down, thinking Helmuth had Jack-10 or Jack-9 or something where the ace high might be good. But he's betting here. 97,000. He's going to get Helmuth off the best hand. Unbelievable. What a bet by the guy. Shows helmet the wow. A6. Oh, no. Oh, no, Matt. Matt showing the bluff. Helmut. Oh, I can't believe it, man. No. I can't believe the guy called him on the turn and bet on the river. He gets a big cheer for that one. We got to. 
had you beat. The aggravation continues for Phil. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker. Wow. They play so crazy. Dude, I said nice hand. What do you want? You've come over the top of me like four times. You won every pot, and you're busting my balls about what exactly? Could you be wrong this time for once? <laughs> they play so crazy. And I love burying this poker brat. You know, burying this poker brat is just great for me because there's too much drama. There's too much emotion. No one in the history of poker won like that. I want to try to play great, and I want to be able, to, at the end of the day, to enjoy myself. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to carry negative emotions with me. So, I mean, I, I find the games a lot easier, and it's a lot more enjoyable for me when I'm less dramatic. Wow! Oh, no! We are watching the implosion of Phil Hellmuth. Such high expectations. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Well, that's nothing gone right so far for Phil Hellmuth. He started out tonight in second chip position. He's now sitting in fourth place but spiraling downward so he's got to feel like a pinata they're just all beating on him right now he called 46,000 to bluff me on the river you know such aggravation for him well he says he's burying the poker brat but i believe he's gonna have to dig awful deep to bury that guy all right let's go to the table matt quickly folds his hand a clean car with an 8-3 also folding Dan out as well. Around to Hassan on the button. Wow, you guys have thrown the gauntlet down. Nice play, buddy. So it opens up to Phil. Very nice play. And let's take a look at his cards. He's got a pair of queens here, a pair of ladies. Big hand for Phil Helmuth in the Battle of the Blinds. And he just limps in and calls, nice trying play. to set the trap. Yes, he is. But Andy behind him with a pretty good ace jack of clubs. Well, Vince, everybody would raise with this hand when the small blind limps in. Well, this could be the war that Phil has been waiting for. Yeah, for sure it is, no doubt about it. And he's coming back with a raise. Phil would love to get the revenge on this 23-year-old who has been mocking him all evening, humiliating him. Oh, Vince, no doubt Phil's going to come over the top, just a matter of how much. I raise it. Oh, there's one for the seniors. Well, there you go. Two hundred. Two hundred thousand is the re-raise. Andy Seth has owned him all night, but do you suspect that Helmuth has a big hand here after limping in out of the small blind and now re-raising you, the chip leader, when you're in position? Andy, only 23 years old, only been playing poker for four years. He is on some roll here tonight. He has been torturing Phil. But you gotta think this is at least a call. All in. Oh, boy. And he's going all in. Well, there you see Phil's emotions. He's afraid the guy's got ace or kings. I have a bad feeling you have kings. I just don't know what I can do about it. He's getting paranoid. He's getting punchy from the kid. Well, man, you always fear that when you've got two queens in this spot, that the guy's got you beat. But I don't see there's any way he can get away from his hand. I guess there's nothing I can do about it. And there goes Chips. Yep, he's going to make the call. And Phil's going to love this. Well, as the cards lies, about a two-to-one favorite to double up. So all the misery that he's faced so far tonight can be righted right here, right now. He'll be just about the chip leader if he wins this pot, Vince. Good hand. His hand still has to hold up. The rivalry has been going on all night long. Andy and Phil. Andy getting the best of it right now. Phil out in front. Stay with us. We're coming back with the exciting conclusion of his hand in just a moment on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. And Phil Helmuth with a great opportunity here. A pair of queens. He is all in up against Ace Jack. Well, he's about a two to one favorite to win this pot and get back to where he started this final table in second chip position. Let's see if the queens hold up. If not, he'd be out in sixth place. So far, so good as it comes King 6 5. Helmuth out in front with the two queens. A little justice right there on that flop. He still has to sweat two more cards. Queens out in front. Here comes the turn. Well, a 10 comes off. Now that means a queen would give Andy a straight. Phil's got the defense. He's got, he's got the defense. He's got the defense. So Andy needs an ace or a queen. Helmuth, a huge favorite to double up here and get back into second chip position. Yeah, the kid needs the big suck out. Don't do it to Helmuth here. Oh, an ace on the river. He did it. 
a dagger in the heart for Phil Helmuth on the river. He is stunned, shocked, as everyone else in here is, as he takes a beat on the river to get knocked out in sixth place. Good play, buddy. Well done. Well done. But you've got to give it to him. He's being a gentleman. He takes a horrible beat there, but he shakes hands. Can't express you how much of an honor it was to play with you, especially my first big final table film. Incredibly, Phil Helmuth is out in sixth place. Going to pick up 117,000. Looks like a good sport now. Shaking hands with everybody, congratulating them all. <laughs> As it is, he's devastated because he had a great shot to win a WPT title tonight. Just didn't happen, Vince. It was a nightmare for him. Now he's holding his head, and now he is sick. <coughs> Oh. Now, many players feel like Phil acts like a baby sometimes. They'll be saying, oh, give him his blankie and pacifier or something. Damn it, Andy, now you got the, the Bounty Hunter Award. Look at him, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's right there on the ground. I think he's just emotionally devastated for getting knocked out of this tournament that he wanted to win so badly. I'm actually a little worried here. I mean, he's in a fetal jailhouse kind of position. Mm. This is very strange. Oh, my God. Well, Jesus, the crowd bro. doesn't know if he's acting, if he's seriously ill. No. Can't take no. a picture with him. <laughs> oh. There's some kind of poetic justice to it, though. Oh, this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. See, see, this is, the, this is how the new school beats the old school. We just get in and hit. <laughs> Waited for this guy. Well, he's finally back up. He looks like he's okay. Now he's walking out. Gets a nice ovation from the crowd, even from the players. It doesn't feel fair to me. It doesn't feel right, you know? I mean, I'm just playing so good, and uh, I don't understand how he can play that bad. Whatever, I got lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's over now. Like... I don't know how he can stick 800,000 with Ace Jack. I mean, he, it's just not right, you know? I mean, I'm not, it's just... I'm devastated. It's just, it's really not even right. I mean, I just trapped the guy so good. Is he just over there talking mm -hmm. about me the whole time? Mm -hmm. well, not like hardcore. The one thing I keep like hearing from the world is that I've never won a World Poker Tour tournament. But I love the World so, Poker Tour, and me? it was a great tournament with a great structure, and uh, I did the best I could. Well, Jesus. here comes Matt Savage with the cold hard cash that you get for knocking out a bounty. Thank you. No signature? Nobody had the balls. <laughs> no one had the balls. <laughs> no one had the balls. I'm You're serious. also supposed to no get a signed t-shirt. Matt. It's like the surgeon doesn't like to tell the family when he loses a patient either, but I think you got a job to do. You got to get that shirt signed. It's a tough job, but you're the man. You're the guy in charge. I want to sign a shirt for me. I do, but I feel like I'll help you to the tournament area. Let's forget it, Jesus. You do you want to sign? I would like it signed, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty memorable. I mean, it's part of the, it's part of the deal everyone signed up for. Just forget about it, huh? Sure? Well, I mean, I, I could get it signed it later. I'm positive yeah, he'll sign, sign it for me yeah, when he cools later. down. Phil, oh, they like your signature. Phil, so, how are you? There he is. He's coming back. He's recovered nicely, it looks like now anyway, waving to the crowd. Yes, him, buddy. He's going to sign the shirt, but I'd be a little careful. You remember how Joe Pesci stuck the pin in that guy's neck in that movie? I'd be a little careful right now here. Still a pin in his hand, but... Thank you. No, he does sign it. He's a good sport. Shaking hands again. Well, Vince, you got to say, he's trying to bury the polka brat. At least he's throwing one shovel of dirt on the grave right now anyway. Maybe this is a look-alike, because Phil is probably wrecking his room right now, and this is just a look-alike. Uh, well, he's bowing down, thanking the crowd for their support. A stunning development here, as many thought Phil Hummuth would win his first WPT title tonight. Instead, he's out in sixth place after taking a bad beat on the river. Well, we saw the Phil Hummuth meltdown. We do have five players left. Going after close to 900,000 at the Bay 101. Crazy times here in San Jose. We're out of time for tonight, but we'll see you next time for the exciting conclusion of the Bay 101 Shooting Star Tournament. Good game, Phil, man. You play really well. I don't understand what this is for. <laughs>